I am Professor Dr. Moina Akhtar Mughal from Dr. Amikaz Institute of Chemistry, University of Sindh Jamsharo. Those who know me, they don't want, I mean, all this introduction, but uh, it's all for all those who are new to my channel. So I just welcome them again with something new, something more interesting and exciting. Uh, maybe uh, not an exciting for those who are, uh, who are who are not belonging to the my field, that is chemistry, purely organic chemistry. So today I am here to describe the Bronsted lorry concept of acids and bases. So uh, who was Bronsted? First of all, you, you must know that who was Bronsted? Who was Laurie? So Bronsted simply was a Danish chemist and uh, his name was uh, Jones Nicholas Bronsted. And um, in uh, he was, I mean, uh, collaborating his work with the lorry who was an English chemist and his name was Thomas Martin Laurie. In 1923, they introduced this theory, um, and this theory was particularly named as proton uh, theory of acids and bases. So this was all a brief introduction about Bronsted Laurie, uh, the two scientists who brought up this theory for us, for um, for all the I mean. Uh, uh, persons who are belonging to chemistry uh, to, to, uh, for their knowledge and to understand the concepts regarding acids and bases right so it enables simply its viewers to visualize another perspective I'm imagining about acids and bases and which is very you can say essential um, and uh, handy or you can call it functional in organic chemistry now, Bronsted Laurie way of defining um, acids and bases was uh, first printed in 1923, and it was the year when Lewis too draw up uh, or put together his plans, right? So, so Lewis too uh, was, I mean, uh, brought up um, this idea that uh, he was with the with his ideas and his plans that uh, acidity or about a basicity that, of course, he was also with him along with him so now what's a bronsted acid and what's a bronsted base and so i can simply explain it it's very simple very easy you have might be hearing it from for many i mean years and years uh it's simply a type of or a kind of uh the kind that is ready to receive or accept a proton during a chemical reaction when a reaction is going on and what it is called it's called a bronsted base whereas proton uh simply during uh, uh, uh or or you can say whereas the one that donates proton right is a bronsted acid uh now for example I can show you an example a reaction between ammonium ion and an hydroxide ion is the best ever ex example ex explained uh, to visualize the Bronsted acid base reactions so I'm going to explain it in a way now this is a reaction between an uh, simply ammonium ion and a hydroxide ion and it's uh, always been uh, ever been an ex best explained example of Bronsted acid uh, base reaction right acid base reaction so let's start this is ammonium ion and h4 of course with the positive sign and and a hydroxide now the direction of reaction towards this side would be more and the pos probability of, of re reversing it is less so it will be left with this with this lone pair of electrons plus the water molecule now I can again write it in uh, by expanding it so that would be more easier for my students to follow uh, this is hydrogen here and this is hydrogen here and this is a positive sign over this nitrogen right so this is a hydrogen so this is an ammonium ammonium ion Okay, so what what is going to happen here? I'm explaining this reaction. Now, there is a hydroxide ion with its electrons. The moment of electrons would be like this, right? And what would happen? What is this? It's an hydroxide ion, hydroxide ion. Right, so this is acting as a Bronsted acid here, Bronsted acid, and this one 
as a so now the this is now the, the expulsion of water molecule over here right with an electrons on this oxygen atom so this water simply it acts as a Bronsted Bronsted acid whereas this ammonia it acts as a Bronsted base so this is a very common reaction which is all uh, always been explained when you are going through uh, an electron pair displacement reaction this is also called an electron pair displacement reaction with the proton transform from one atom to another whereas now if we talk about the lewis concept of acids and bases ammonium ions proton is a lewis acid as it accepts electrons and when hydroxide ion attacks it which is a lewis base uh, so now what happens a curved arrow notation is always used uh, in all electron pair displacement reaction this is a curved arrow this is a curved arrow and these notations are always used whenever you are going through an electron pair displacement reaction this is called an electron pair displacement reaction um, as it is a you can say a double uh, two you can say a double added arrow or a two arrow notation and always represents electron pair movements it always explains us the how the electron moves now it's interesting to note that a conjugate base a conjugate conjugate base is established base is established or formed established as a what as a bronsted acid as a Bronsted acid and loses a proton and conjugate conjugate acid is formed when a proton when a proton is gained by a base is gained by a base base finally what forming a conjugate acid base pair finally what they are going to form a conjugate a conjugate acid base pair now it is interesting to note that every Bronsted acid uh, base reactions um, bases their reactions has two acid base pairs right it has two conjugate acid base pairs right what that every Bronsted acid base reactions uh, has two conjugate acid base pairs as in the as you have seen in the above equation as for example this uh, ammonium NH4 and NH3 ammonia makes up one conjugate one conjugate one conjugate acid base pair right they, they form one conjugate acid base pair there it is and and hydroxide OH hydroxide and water the next one they form the next conjugate acid base pair next one and these are always across the arrows in the equilibrium this is the arrows in the equilibrium state you can see the arrows in the equilibrium state right so this was a brief inter interesting um, knowledge about uh, what is the acid and bases and the what is the bronsted lorry concept of acids and bases and how it enables its viewers to visualize another perspective of imagining about acids and bases and it is also very essential and handy or functional in organic chemistry i hope you like my video today and you will learn um, and you will uh, from some good book i recommend uh, solomon's uh, fra and frial so, uh, this is a very good book so solomon's frial book it's eighth edition seventh edition these are all very good so uh, i hope you will go through your uh, uh, this video and you will go through this topic again of acid bronsted lorry concept of acids and bases and uh, hope to see you again with something new and interesting and, and exciting see you bye bye